welcome back to my channel and welcome to the sixth episode of this series where we learn how we transfer agent force agents chat to a human agent how agent force agent can actually escalate the issue if customer wants to connect with a human agent if customer wants the human touch in their conversation we'll learn in this video but before that if you have not subscribed to the channel yet a click on the subscribe button below will be awesome now let's dive straight into the video Okay, now in this org in which I'm showing you the demo, I already have the Omni channel set up, queues, routing, configuration, everything configured because I wanted to show you the demo itself in this video as well. So now to do the Omni channel settings, routing, configurations, everything with you one by one, I have created another org which doesn't have anything, which just have a, a demo agent which is not actually the agent we are working on just a demo agent to show you how the functionality how the configuration will happen for you guys who has not done anything in the org related to omni channel okay so now we are doing it together now the first step you will have to do is go to omni channel settings okay now in omni channel settings you will have to toggle it on enhance omni channel routing click on continue agree to the terms and click accept once you click on accept, Omni channel setting will be enabled. The next thing will be to create a queue. Okay. Go to queues and create a routing queue. Okay. Let's name it Omni channel routing queue. Queue name will be there. Nothing has to be here. Routing configuration will be blank as well. For now, we'll come back to it later. Now for the available objects, Go to messaging user and messaging session, select those objects, scroll down, select the user you want the ability to be as a human agent. For now, I'm selecting my user. You can select any user you want to give power to behave like a human agent and to handle the chat, right? Now I have selected my user, clicked on save and we have our queue. Next step is to create a routing configuration. Go to routing configuration here. Click on new one. Let's name it Omni Channel Routing Configuration. Developer name should be there. Nothing in the overflow assignee. Routing configuration will be one and routing model will be most available. So the agent online will be the most available agent at that time and your chat will be routed to that particular agent. Now it says work item size which has unit of capacity and percentage of capacity. You'll have to provide either of one of them, right? What's that means? So every human agent, for example, my human agent is having a capacity of five work items. That means my human agent can have five chat items active at the same time. Okay. Now unit of capacity means how many units of capacity per chat item will take. For example, if I say two units of capacity, that means one active chart will take two capacity of my agent that means my agent at one time can only have two chat items because one will take two and two will take four right so that's why the standard unit for unit of capacity is measured as one so that the agent having five capacity can have five chat items but it varies from organization to organization we'll click on save anyways okay now go back to our queue again here and we'll edit our queue and we'll add the routing configuration that we have just created. So here, go to search icon, select this one that we have created and click on save. Till now, you have activated Omni channel setting, created queues and routing configuration. The next step for Omni channel is to create a present status. What are present status? So basically present status describe if the agent is available, is busy, is away, will be right back or something like that okay to get a chat there has to be at least one present item which is online so let's just say the name of the status is available in status option there are two options one is online one is busy we have to have one present status which is online to get the chats right so we are making it online for the service channel let's take both the channels and save now we have the present status our agent is good to go no our agent doesn't have access to this present status, right? 
So let's go to the user's profile to which you have assigned the queue to, right? For example, my user profile is system admin. I'll go to system admin profile from here. And I will go here. Enable service presence status access, right? Click on edit. Choose this available action and save. Now my user's profile has access to the available option. But then where do I see that available action? That will be under service console because Omni channel is a part of service console app. That can be the standard service console app that we have or else the customizing uh, service console app that you can create for your organization. Okay. Now this bar right here in the bottom is called the utility bar and Omni channel stays right here as the utility item. Let's go to setup. We'll go to app manager and we will manage the service console app. App manager, sorry. And search for service console app. It's right here. Let's edit this one. Okay. Once you edit this one, you will see utility items on the left hand side. This one, click on this. It has history and notes and now we'll add utility item Omni channel, this one. Just select this and save it. You don't have to change anything here. Now go to the service console app and refresh it. Once you refresh this app, now you will see Omni channel in the utility bar as well. So here you have it, the Omni channel as a utility item in the utility bar. And here, because my user has access to the available option, the present status is here. And now my friend, my user is available to have any chat that is escalated from Agent Force Agent. But not done yet, right? In Agent Force Agent, how is it capable of sending the chats to the human agent? There has to be a connection. There comes the connection tab that we have. You see in inbound omni channel flows, there isn't any connection right now. Okay. And we will build that. Let's go to flows for that. And we'll create an omni channel flow. Go to flows. So once you enable omni channel in your org, there is a pre built flow that is managed installed which is there, which is used to route agent force agents chat. We are going to update that flow and update it accordingly and create a new flow with that. Now the flow name is route Conf conversations to agent force agent. You see that's not active and that's managed installed. Let's click on this one and we'll update it according to our requirements. Make sure before you edit this flow, your agent is active because flow needs the agent to be active in order to access it right now in the flow builder we'll remove this one this is of no use this is a very important component which is route to service agent now everything else remains the same messaging route to service agents now here comes your service agent select your service agent and here comes your queue that you have created that's it you just have to add two items save it as a new flow let's say route to agents and activate it once you activate this flow go to your agent and refresh your agent once if you have configured the flow correctly and followed these steps with me you will see a new inbound omni channel flow connected to your agent that connection happened because we have added our agent and the queue here so this is our agent force is now connected to the omni channel configuration here which will send the chat from agent force to agent but there is one more thing in the agent. There's no topic which allows the agent to take that action, right? For which just deactivate the flow. Click on new topic, add from a set library. There's a standard topic from Salesforce itself, which is escalation. You will just have to select this topic, finish. You don't have to do anything else in this topic. The instruction says, if customer wants to connect to an agent or if there is a complex issue which you cannot solve, escalate the chat to the agent. Okay. If you will see topic actions, there's nothing because 
the actions on connecting the agent's chat to the human agent is being handled by the connection that we have. So this topic doesn't actually need an action, right? Now let's just activate this. Now we are good to go. We have done all the configurations needed for the human agent to be available to get the chat to connect with the customer and to connect with the agent. We also have the connection here with the omni-channel inbound flow. Now, the one thing that's concerning is that everything can be tested in the conversational preview except this functionality because this functionality is a live functionality uh, escalating the chat to a human agent which cannot be tested in a builder. For this, your agent has to be deployed to a website or somewhere or there has to be a VF page which handles your agent. Once that's done, you'll be able to check this escalation functionality. We are not going to cover that in this video because this video is solely about omni-channel configurations with the agent. There is a catch, right? Everything else we can test in the conversational preview, but transferring to an agent, because it is a live functionality, we cannot test it in the builder. The agent that you have created has to be somewhere. It has to be in a VF page or maybe in the testing components, or it has to be deployed on a website. I'll show you how the conversation will get escalated to a human agent here, because I have already added this agent to a live website, which is here. Let me just open it once again. So in this website, I have already deployed my agent to show you the functionality that we have just created, which is escalating the chat. Let's just say uh, the customer comes and say, connect me to an agent. It will say one moment, I will transfer it to an agent. And you will see here, you have the chat, your agent force representative. Once you accept it, all the conversation will come here. Let it open. All the conversation will come here in this preview. So for this example, I have just said connect to an agent. But before that, we can have other conversation as well. And then customer can be frustrated and say connect me to an agent. When that happens, customer has all the previous history of their chat so that the agent, the human agent has a context of what the customer is going through, the frustration, the concerns of the customer, and it will not ask the same repetitive questions to the customers again, right? This is how the chat can anytime be uh, escalated from an agent to a human representative of your choice, right? But now to deploy it, that couldn't be covered in this video that will be a very big video and it will not going to be simplified right so let this particular episode be about omni channel configurations and adding the escalation topic in the next episode i'll tell you how to create a messaging channel how to create embedded service deployment and also how to deploy your agent to a particular website of your choice once we do that in that episode itself we will also check how the chat is being escalated to a human representative i'll see you super soon in the next episode where we will learn all of that but till then keep learning keep practicing and i'll see you next time